Good afternoon. It's Monday, August 8th, 2011. I'm Russell Barton with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting Tyson Foods, Inc. on Monday announced a third quarter net income of $196 million, which compares to $248 million of the same period a year ago. The Springdale, Arkansas-based company cited higher feed costs and higher prices for its cattle and hogs as causes for the lower profitability. Additionally, Tyson said it expects its chicken business to post a loss in the fiscal fourth quarter. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. In the egg market, retail demand is fairly good. Larger sizes are close to tight. Mediums are adequate to available. The market is full, steady to firm. Open buying interest is noted on liquid yolk. In reviewing Erner Berry's weekly Insider's Red Meat Report, released last Friday evening on Comtel, we find in the beef market, yellow sheet cutout values ended mixed last week. End cuts firmed and commanded higher values as the week progressed, while coarse grinds continued to hold their value. Packers were still finding it necessary to discount middle meats to move them out the door. In the boneless market, fresh 90s were steady to a little lower last week as demand was moderate at best. Fresh 50s firmed as buying interest seemed to improve as the week progressed. Looking at pork, processors returned to thin to negative profitability last week as the second heat wave throughout the Midwest worked to push hog prices higher. The cutout hit records every day last week and gained 4.87% by Friday, settling at 106.86. In retail pork, supplies of loin meat were snug all last week. As a result, premiums developed throughout the complex with additional buyer inquiries going unfulfilled. Gains were also noted in bone and loins, boneless loins, sirloins, tenderloins, and picnic meat. A voracious call for anything rib resulted in stronger spare rib, St. Louis rib, and loinback rib markets. Looking at poultry, for chicken, the majority of the complex was well situated last week with the back half of the bird leading the charge. Legs and eight leg quarters were being sought after for both export and domestic needs. Wogs were full steady under less than adequate levels of supply. Whole birds were rated steady. Tenders and chunk and trim meat were very well supported. Talking turkey, the biggest news last week was the ground turkey recall, which at week's end involved ground turkey itself rather than the raw materials utilized in it. The commodity parts market would not come under any noted pressure, but there were shuffling parts associated with diverting product and production from one plant to another. Otherwise, the market undertone was solid last week. Drums, necks, tails, and two joints were very well cleared and required top dollar. For trends, charts, and further commentary, be sure to get the full version of Erner Berry's weekly Insider's Red Meat Report on Comtel. Last up this afternoon is a look at the market indices. Last week, beef was down 0.44%, pork was up 4.8%, chicken was up 1.4%, turkey was up 0.4%, and the egg index was up 13.9%. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide, featuring a side-by-side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text. Call 800-932-0617 to order your guide today.